Welcome to the Philippine Motor Show. This is Auto Focus. I'm Ray Louis Gamboa. Here's a menu of some of our features on this edition of your electronic magazine, exclusive to the automobile and its industry. Starting off with reviews of two vehicle models presently in the local market. A mini SUV from JAC, the 2019 S1 1.3 MT Intelligent, and a compact sedan from MG, the 2019 MG6 1.5T Trophy. We'll also have a glimpse of some of the latest automobile models and concept cars from around the world. This week, we have the 2020 McLaren GT and the 2020 Hyundai Elantra. Plus a feature-to-feature comparison of two subcompact SUVs, the 2019 Honda BRV and the 2019 Toyota Rush. Together with the latest news and developments in the local auto industry, we shall have the recently held launch of the 10th generation Honda Accord on our special feature. The next 60 minutes is all about the automobile. This is Autofocus and we'll be right back after this short break. Stay with us. Suzuki, all new El Tiga. Life is beating fast. Find what you're waiting for. Seven seater in style. All new El Tiga debut. Welcome back to Autofocus, the automobile show. We start this edition of your electronic magazine with a review of one of the latest automobile models from JAC. Here goes the smallest crossover in the world doing big things. The JAC S1 is packed with features that set it apart from the rest. Find out more about it here in this car review. Let's check out the exterior features of the JAC S1. At a glance, given that the S1 is small in size, its exterior features don't make it look like it's crowded and too heavy for a crossover. What draws the eyes to the styling of the S1 are the suspended roof and dual color body. Its hydrodynamic body, when you look at it from the side, also catches attention. On top of that, the cross-shaped 15-inch alloy wheels add to the character of the S1. Its 
time to hop on inside the S1. Inside the S1, almost everything is wrapped in contrast stitched leatherette. The dashboard houses the digital combination instrument cluster, which highlights the interior of the S1. The cabin as a whole doesn't appear and feel cluttered and crowded, which is important in a small crossover like the S1. Talking about space, there's enough leg and headroom, although it could be improved. However, for the front seats, it features bucket seats that somehow provide more space and comfort when slid back. The trunk space is also limited, but it can definitely carry what you need it to. Other interior features of the S1 that target comfort and convenience include power windows, parking sensors, When it comes to the infotainment system, the S1 is equipped with a 7-inch touchscreen that comes with AM, FM, MP3, AUX, USB, and Bluetooth connectivity. Sound is enjoyable through four speakers. Up next, the powertrain of the S1. Under the hood of the S1 is a powerful 1.3-liter green jet engine that is capable of producing 99 PS of power and 126 newton meters of torque. This engine is coupled with a 5-speed manual transmission that transfers all power to front wheels. What sets it apart is that the engine is Euro 5 compliant. For safety and security, the S1 is equipped with JAC standard safety and security features. It includes anti-lock braking system with electronic brake force distribution, dual airbags, keyless entry, central locking, alarm, and immobilizer. That was the JAC S1 proving that there's more to it than what meets the eye. The latest auto industry news and developments right after this break. Ano man ang marating, binabalikan pa rin. Ang mga unang pangarap, mga unang nakasama, mga unang aral, at ang unang naging gabay sa biyahe ko sa buhay. Oh Joshua, napauwi ka! Siyempre, miss ko na first love ko eh. Make more firsts with a Mitsubishi Mirage. Drive your ambition, Mitsubishi Motors. The things that make my day. My mini-me. My kind of jam. My passion. My blend of coffee. My inspiration. That's all good with the all-new Vios. My Vios. My drive. Ako po si Michael Kaliwag, labindalawang taon ng patrol crew para sa Enlex Esitex. Bilang patrol crew, handa akong marap sa anumang di nasa ang sitwasyon. Naalala ko pa noon, 2009, Bagyong Ondoy, papatrol kami sa Enlex nang may nakita kami isang pamilya na natrap sa bubong. Kahit kailangan magpatrol, nagdesisyon kami na sagatin at iligtas sila. Kami ang Enlex Esitex patrol crew, kaagapay at katuwag nyo sa mas maayos na paglalakbay.
Survival and Arms Expo is back with a more intensive take on the global issues on environment, economic uncertainty, security threats, and the like. Visitors may avail of the free seminar during the event. You can also apply for your license to own and possess firearms at the venue. The Expo will take place on November 14 to 17, 2019 at the SMX Convention Center, SM Mall of Asia, Pasay City. Admission is free. Pre-register online now. Welcome back to Auto Focus. I will now have the latest auto industry news. Sojus Fuso Philippines recently treated select fleet accounts at local motoring journalists to an exclusive preview and test drive event featuring Fuso's medium duty and heavy duty models, the FI and the FJ. The company also gave a preview and let the select attendees experience its upcoming heavy duty tractor model, the Super Great. Today's event is for select customer and uh, uh, media friends for experience of our uh, medium duty and uh, heavy duty trucks. So it's very rare to drive such big vehicles. So I think that it's for all of our customers to know that our products. We invited the, some fleet accounts and some of our dealer sales personnel so that they can experience driving, test driving our heavy duty and medium duty trucks. It's very rare for sales personnel or some fleet accounts to experience a real test drive. Plus, part of this, we have a trainer from Fuso Academy in Japan who did a training session for our sales force. And then we have this venue here and uh, later on we have a mini fun activity wherein all those who will participate in the test drive have a chance to uh, play with some uh, balls and uh, shoot it in a uh, can. Hopefully we can promote or push in the market more of these uh, heavy duty and medium duty trucks. The units which the guests had the chance to inspect and drive around a controlled environment were the FI-1217R medium duty truck, FJ-2528R heavy duty truck, and the soon-to-be-launched FV Super Great Tractor. The first Fuso experience allowed the participants to have a first-hand experience with the new trucks and to learn more about it. The FI-1217R is a six-wheeler medium-duty truck which is powered by a 4D37 3.9-liter turbocharged direct injection diesel engine with 22 feet loading span and has 11.9 tons GVW. Meanwhile, the 10-wheeler heavy-duty truck FJ2528R has a natural 32 feet loading span, powered by a 6S20 6-cylinder, 6.4-liter turbocharged direct injection diesel engine. A test drive activity for the FV Super Great tractor was also held. Super Great is a 10-wheeler truck which has 60 tons maximum GVW and powered by an OM457 12-liter turbocharged direct injection diesel engine. Also, one of the key features of this model is having a 12-speed intelligent and innovative mechanical automatic transmission. The Fuso experience allowed the decision makers and businesses to be able to experience firsthand and learn more about the trucks that they purchase. We have a Fuso dedicated dealership, so everyone can come to the dealership to try our trucks. I would like to invite everybody to uh, visit our showrooms, uh, Fuso dealerships, so that you can check out these uh, medium-duty, heavy-duty, even our light-duty trucks. The AutoHub group of companies has announced the new addition to their current lineup. In an event held at Ford Global City in Taguig, AutoHub President Willie T. Ten revealed that AutoHub Group will be the official distributor of Shelby in the Philippines. Uh, AutoHub is proud to uh, announce that we are uh, the exclusive distributor of Shelby, the aftermarket accessories and the performance part of Shelby. The Shelby, also known as the Cobra, because of its Cobra emblem and streamlined stripes, is a muscle car that impresses on the track and even on the streets. The existing cars being sold in the Philippines can be installed with Shelby high-performance parts. No? So, will be the aftermarket segment of all the Mustang and the grey market F-150s. No? As long as they're V8 engine, we can always put the supercharger there and then officially name it a Shelby Super Snake or Shelby GT and with the authorized license from Shelby International. According to AutoHub Group, the distribution of Shelby car parts and accessories as well as the administration of aftermarket services will begin by January 2020. Ensuring top-notch service, the group will send technicians to the United States for extensive training in time for the launch next year. AutoHub Car Care Services head Alan Pascual will serve as the general manager for Shelby the country. 
we need to first have our technicians trained, number one. Number two, we need to look at the schedule of member of the Shelby family and everything needs to be planned properly. So it will take time. So maybe also in January or, or, or early February. MAN, under MAN Automotive Concessionaires Corporation, or MACC, recently celebrated its 30th anniversary in the country. It all began in 1989, when Mr. Fernando Lu was hailed as the official importer, assembler, and distributor of MAN trucks and buses in the Philippines. Initially, MACC was supplying MAN buses to lead public transport companies. Eventually, MACC started to introduce MAN trucks to the local market. Since then, MAN has integrated to commercial vehicle market in the country, proving its German craftsmanship, reliable built and quality. Today marks our 30th year with MAN. You know, we started in 1989. We were approached by a German delegate from MAN who asked us if we would be interested to be their importer because from 1984 to 1989, there were, they did not have any importer. So they were not physically present. So when we were approached, we were actually in our timber business. And at the time, the timber business was very shaky. So we needed also another leg to stand on just in case something happens. So we grabbed the opportunity and we took advantage of our knowledge in maintaining vehicles. So from then, everything went so fast. We started negotiations sometime in August. And by October, we were already in Germany and we were signing a contract. And after we came back, we organized this company, MACC, to start the business. For 30 strong years now, MACC has thrived in making MAN more visible and accessible to various industries, providing technologically advanced, top quality commercial vehicles and the corresponding support services and allied brands to complete the lineup. We are an innovative company. That's part of our core values, innovation. So we continuously come out with products that would be of service not only to the riding clients, no, but also to the people in general. We will be coming out soon with another product that will help the transport industry. But this is still under wraps, so you will know once we launch this. Toyota Motor Philippines Corporation, through the Comprehensive Automotive Resurgence Strategy or the CARS program, took members of the local motoring media to familiarize them with its high technology facilities. We are now at uh, Toyota Motor Philippines and today we're having the plant tour with our media friends. Uh, we would like to show the media what TMP has been doing, how TMP has been contributing to the society and to the economy. According to the company, the 5.38 billion peso investments in the CARS project enhanced not only the company's local production capabilities, but ultimately added value to revitalize vehicle and parts manufacturing in the country. For Toyota alone, CARS investments include the local parts production of the Toyota Vios at the resin injection molding facility for bumpers and instrument panels, roller hemming robots at the welding line, and the newly inaugurated A0 press line for stamping of side member panels. The CARS program has been initiated by the government in order to improve the competitiveness of the industry and also to promote more of the localization. So we have started the program since early 2015 and for many years we worked together with the government in order to get this CARS program going. So we also had to get the approval of our regional headquarters in Thailand and from our mother plant in Japan. We are producing the best-selling the Vios and the best-selling Innova here in our uh, Santa Rosa plant. Through these investments, Toyota started its journey towards smart manufacturing, integrating high-tech equipment in the Toyota production system. Such facilities use robots to automate repetitive tasks, making production processes more efficient. To handle new production technologies, Toyota also made substantial investments in manpower training for the acquisition of new skills. Aside from acquiring new production technologies, TMP continuously supports its local suppliers in developing technical know-how, upgrading their manpower skills, and addressing technical gaps through Technical Assistance Agreements, or TAA, with Toyota's network of suppliers in the Asia-Pacific region. Among the cars controlled suppliers having TAA include Valerie Products Manufacturing and Manly Plastics.
spice up your pre-Christmas activities with the 2019 Autofocus Pre-Christmas Multi-Brand Test Drive Festival happening on November 14 to 17, 2019 at the SM Mall of Asia Concert Grounds. The four-day event will feature the latest developments and innovations from the country's top car manufacturers and distributors, Chang'an, Chevrolet, Ford, GAC, Honda, Isuzu, Kia, Maxxis, Mitsubishi, Nissan, Sangyong, Subaru, Suzuki, Toyota, and Volkswagen will be present in this year's Test Drive Festival. Get a chance to test drive your dream car and experience firsthand its features and capabilities. Autofocus, the country's premier automobile news and features electronic magazine, takes another short break. Stay with us. I'll be right back. Ah, the things that make my day. My mini-me, my kind of jam. My passion, my blend of coffee, my inspiration. That's all good with the all-new Vios. My Vios, my drive. Motoring Today is now on the web. Watch this episode or other past episodes of the country's longest-running motoring program any time of the day by logging on to our website, motoringtoday.ph. Motoring Today is now online. Just a click away. Designed to get back from any adventure. Every day without fail. Being tough is not enough, so we keep testing. In the pursuit of ultimate toughness and reliability, the new Strata, engineered beyond tough. Drive your ambition, Mitsubishi Motors. Suzuki, all new El Tiga. Life is beating fast. Find what you're waiting for. Seven seater in style. All new El Tiga debut. Welcome back to this edition of Autofocus, the country's premier automobile TV and online magazine. Here's Head to Head, our feature-to-feature -feature comparison of the latest automobile models belonging to the same category. In this Head to Head, we will see two subcompact SUVs that both take pride in their features and capabilities. They're none other than the Honda BRV and the Toyota Rush. Watch it here as we put them bumper to bumper and check out all their features.
Let's first check out the respective powertrains of the Honda BRV and the Toyota Rush. The BRV is powered by a 1.5 liter iVTEC engine that produces 120 PS of power and 145 Nm of torque. The engine is coupled with Honda's Earth Dream technology, continuously variable transmission that delivers a smooth, refined, and fuel efficient driving performance. Meanwhile, under the hood of the Rush is a 1.5 liter dual VVTi gasoline engine that is capable of giving out 102 horsepower and 134 Nm of torque. These generous numbers go along a 4 speed automatic transmission. Let's check out the exterior designs of our featured vehicles. For the BRV, its masculine and premium look follows the grand concept of Honda's enhanced SUV image. The front fascia is highlighted by a new chrome front grille that is paired with a new front bumper. There are also the daytime running lights and halogen headlights and fog lights present to further accentuate the front fascia. The newly designed rear bumper is provided to give it a stronger character. Completing the design of the BRV is the 16 inch alloy wheels. On the other hand, the Rush bears some of the standard styles of the other cars in Toyota's lineup. The front fascia comes with LED headlights with integrated LED daytime running lights that blend with the grill. Moreover, it comes with 17 inch alloy wheels. Let's head inside the cars and check out their respective offerings. As a 7-seater, the BRV offers a spacious and comfortable cabin that provides ample leg and headroom for the passengers to move conveniently during any drive. It retains the fabric material for the seats. The dashboard is simple and straightforward, with the buttons and controls positioned in easy-to-reach places. The BRV is equipped with a 7-inch capacitive touchscreen display audio, and for added convenience, the BRV is equipped with a reverse camera. Meanwhile, inside the Rush, the most prominent color is black, which comes with silver accents and some cream colored trims. Since the Rush is also a 7 seater, there's enough space for the passengers to be comfortable while traveling. The infotainment system comes with a 7 inch touchscreen that can connect to any smartphone via Bluetooth or a USB port. The audio control in the Rush, which is optimized by 8 speakers, is attached on the steering wheel so the driver could easily operate it with just one tap. This is probably the Rush's edge over the BRV. Additionally, to make it easier for the driver to navigate the car, the Rush offers tilt steering feature to move up the steering wheel position. Moreover, the smart start at the top button, air conditioning double blower, and parking cameras are to the head unit. When it comes to safety and security, both the BRV and the Rush are packed with features that provide nothing less than the driver and passengers. The BRV comes with Honda's G Force Control Collision Safety Body that dissipates G forces in the event of a crash and disperses it away from the vehicle's occupants on impact. Moreover, standard on both variants are driver and front passenger SRS airbag, anti lock braking system with electronic brake force distribution, hill start assist, vehicle stability assist, speed sensing auto door lock, and ISO fix anchors. For the Rush, it is equipped with Toyota standard features such as anti-lock braking system with emergency brake signal, solid vehicle stability control, and 6 SRS airbags. There we witness the Honda BRV and the Toyota Rush go head to head. We hope you have decided what subcompact SUV to go for. More about the automobile here in Autofocus as we usher in our segment featuring the autos of the world. Spotlighting concept cars as well as newly launched and about to be launched automobile models from around the world. For exciting viewing in this edition of your Automobile Electronic Magazine, we have the 2020 McLaren GT. Let's watch this. A mid-engine Grand Tourer from McLaren? Can the prevalently supercar producer keep up with its well-established rivals in the segment like the Bentley Continental GT or the Aston Martin DB11? The answer is a resounding yes! The new McLaren GT is nothing to envy from its British cousins. Having the engine mounted in its midsection, it has a total of 570 liters of storage space divided into two trunks, one at the rear and one at the front. The latter larger than what the Porsche 911 can offer, 
being taken from the McLaren 720S, hence the very aggressive aerodynamic teardrop shape typical of modern supercars. It has a very well-mattered approach to the road. Acceleration is rounded and gradual, and curving is precise and secured thanks to its adaptive dampers and hydraulic steering, just like what a proper gentleman's car should be. But don't be fooled by its rather low-pitched growling exhaust because its turbocharged 4-liter engine can launch you from 0 to 100 in just 3.2 seconds, just half a second slower than the McLaren 720S. Equipped with a new exhaust system, a new engine, and a new integrated spoiler, it is not a 720S dressed in a tuxedo, being two-thirds of the car developed specifically for it. The interior does not disappoint. Solid alloy gear paddles, vertical screen infotainment, digital gauge cluster, wing doors, Bowers and Wilkins Hi-Fi system, wrapped together by ambient lighting and full leather interior to give its passengers a clean yet luxurious haven of well-crafted materials. Visibility outside is quite good, thanks to its shorter and lowered hood, and the McLaren Engineers has given it a high ground clearance comparable to a Mercedes S-Class, so you won't have to worry about speed bumps. Overall, the McLaren GT is a well-rounded Grand Tour, capable of taking both bumpy old town roads and long superhighway journeys across the country, but still maintaining its McLaren DNA. A well-executed compromise between performance and livability. NLEX Viaje Tips presents Healthy Road Trip. It's time for that much-awaited vacation, but here are a few things to watch out for. Sitting for long periods of time can form blood clots in your body like in the legs. To avoid that, stop for a quick break, get up, and move around to get your blood pumping. Car air conditioners speed up dehydration, so make sure to drink water frequently. Lastly, while driving, Protect your eyes from the sun by wearing UV-blocking sunglasses. And for a smoother trip up north, you can now drive all the way to your destination with one RFID. Get your Easy Trip RFID sticker now. Be it fine dining, a romantic garden wedding, a relaxed casual meal, or an important business event, Illustrado is the place to go. Aside from its famed paella, the Illustrada restaurant, which is located within the history-laden walled city of Intramuros, is also the favorite destination of food gourmands for its famous calios and lengua and other classic gustatory offerings. Illustrada restaurant, only for the foodies. Anuman ang marating, binabalikan pa rin. Ang mga unang pangarap, mga unang nakasama, mga unang aral, at ang unang naging gabay sa biyahe ko sa buhay. Oh Joshua, napauwi ka! Siyempre, miss ko na first love ko eh. Make more firsts with a Mitsubishi Mirage. Drive your ambition, Mitsubishi Motors. The Tactical Survival and Arms Expo is back with a more intensive take on the global issues on environment, economic uncertainty, security threats, and the like. Visitors may avail of the free seminar during the event. You can also apply for your license to own and possess firearms at the venue. 
The Expo will take place on November 14 to 17, 2019 at the SMX Convention Center, SM Mall of Asia, Pasay City. Admission is free. Pre-register online now. Welcome back to Autofocus. Our special feature is next. Honda's newest luxury sedan offering has made its way to the Philippine shores. Now sporting a premium and bolder design, also packed with more advanced safety and technological innovations. The all-new 2020 Honda Accord is set to thrill customers and car enthusiasts. We have the highlights of the grand launching. Watch it here on Special Feature. The all-new 10th generation Honda Accord is here and it's already been making waves. We just witnessed the launching of the all-new Accord. This is Honda Cars Philippines product new offering and this is a very important model for Honda because this model highlights the Honda's innovation for safety and technology. Introduced in 1976, the Accord is Honda's second longest running nameplate in its global lineup. With Likewise, it is one of Honda's best-selling models with 22.8 million units sold since 1976. This makes the arrival of the 10th generation more special. The Audi Accord is powered by a new 1.5-liter VTEC turbo engine developed under Earth Dreams technology. This new engine puts out a maximum power output of 190 PS of power and 243 Nm of torque. Power is transmitted through a continuously variable transmission developed based on Honda's Earth Dreams technology. Honda Accord model offers a new premium and bolder design and more powerful 1.5 VTEC turbo engine and advanced Honda Sensing Safety Technology. Okay. Developed under the grand concept Absolute Confidence, the Audi Accord aims to be a captivating sedan for the next generation. We aim to elevate the uh, level of the design of Accord. Features mainly change point is the overall styling which more fast back design is yes, create more premium and sophisticated image and there are also detail LED headlight or roof brace consolidation side panel and roof that kind of very detailed items accumulated create uh, more premium and advanced image for our new Accord design. Exterior wise, the Audi Accord boasts a streamlined yet elegant overall exterior profile thanks to its now wider stance lower roofline, and a dramatically longer and lower hood. Up front, Honda's signature chrome wing grille and streamlined wing-shaped headlights full LED headlights with auto-leveling and high-beam features highlight the bold and upright front fascia. Combined with chiseled hood and LED fog lights, the all-new Accord gets a very distinctive and aggressive presence on the road. Completing the sleek and dynamic profile of the all-new Accord, an aggressive, cleverly designed and engineered 18-inch noise-reducing alloy wheels complete the commanding look. To further give the all-new Accord a sleek outlook, Honda adopted a laser brazing welding process for joining the roof and the side panels, which gives it an enhanced sophisticated look by creating a cleaner exterior appearance with no need for a garnish over the rain channels. Inside of the all-new Accord boasts a larger, more premium and tech-savvy interior that complements its elegant new body design and more refined and athletic driving character. The all-new Accord implements an array of advanced technologies comparable to those found in vehicles from a class higher. The Audi Accord now also sports a new 8-inch display audio system, which is one of the most advanced systems offered by Honda to date. Regarding safety feature, especially we apply the comprehensive function of Honda Sensing. Mainly, customer can enjoy the collision mitigation braking system, which can avoid the customers to conflict the automobile or humans. Customer can avoid the collisions by that function. The Audi Accord is available at all 38 Honda Cards dealerships nationwide with a suggested retail price of 2,288,000 pesos. Primarily, we are targeting the businessmen and company executives who are looking for comfortable, premium, luxury, and reasonable vehicle for their daily use. I would like to invite all the televiewers to visit our dealers nationwide and our website at hondapil.com in order for them to know more about the feature of this Honda model. That was all about the grand arrival of the all-new 2020 Honda Accord to the local market. 
It was indeed an exciting event and many are on the lookout for the new comp. And up next is another exciting feature in Autos of the World. This time around the 2020 Hyundai Elantra. Let's watch this. The 2020 Hyundai Elantra, with a new intelligent variable transmission, improved fuel economy and standard forward collision avoidance assist, once again is the standard in the compact sedan segment. Pricing throughout the lineup delivers consumers a compelling choice, starting at $18,950 for the Elantra SE. The 2020 Elantra arrives in dealer showrooms very soon. Hyundai's new IVT provides superior efficiency and simulates gear shifts from an automatic transmission that customers like. This transmission performs continuous shifts by modulating pressure of the transmission's pulley depending on driving conditions and driver inputs. It utilizes a wide ratio pulley system which provides a broader ratio of operation when compared with its competitors. This allows for improved fuel economy at higher gear ratios and improved performance at lower ratios. As opposed to a more common push belt, the IVT takes advantage of a chain belt, a world's first in the compact car segment. A chain improves fuel efficiency by an additional 1.2% when compared with conventional belt systems. Hyundai's new shift control strategy used by the IVT improves linearity between driver inputs, vehicle behavior, and acceleration. Shift response is enhanced, allowing it to closely replicate automatic transmission step shifts. The Elantra features two engine options that focus on fuel efficiency and a third engine option in the Elantra Sport model. The SE, SEL, Value Edition, and Limited offer the 2.0L MPI Atkinson cycle engine with 147 horsepower at 6,200 RPM and Eco offers the 1.4-liter Turbo GDI with 128 horsepower at 5,500 RPM. The Eco model achieves an EPA-estimated 36 miles per gallon combined fuel economy rating thanks to a 7-speed dual-clutch transmission. The things that make my day, my mini-me, my kind of jam, my passion, my blend of coffee, my inspiration. That's all good with the all-new Vios. My Vios. My drive. Designed to get back from any adventure. Every day without fail. I'm getting stronger. Being tough is not enough, so we keep testing. In the pursuit of ultimate toughness and reliability, 
the new Strata. Engineered beyond tough. Drive your ambition. Mitsubishi Motors. Suzuki. All new El Tiga. Life is beating fast. Find what you're waiting for. Seven seater in style. All new El Tiga debut. Welcome back. We have more cars for you to know and appreciate here in Auto Focus as we have our second car review this week. Ever since Morris Garages Philippines re entered the Philippine market under a new distributor, it also made its goal to improve its products and offerings. That includes the MG6. We have all about the trophy variant here on Car Review. Right off the bat, the exterior of the MG6 looks premium and edgy that it could be mistaken as a premium sedan. It's also worth noting that it boasts a few similarities to its sibling, the ZS. For one, it has the same iconic London Eye headlights and the Stardust grille. The front fascia also carries the trophy badge. Meanwhile, the silver accents around the windows and sills give a pop to its exterior. The two-tone 18-inch alloy wheels also make the MG6 stand out as it powers through the road. Other exterior features of the MG6 include a sunroof with anti-trap, manual sunroof shade, and dual exhaust pipes. Let's head inside the MG6. While the exterior is straightforward, the interior is over the top while maintaining its driver-friendly character. The two-toned red and black seats dashboard and panels give the MG6 an eye-catching and attractive cabin. More about the seats, the driver's seat comes available with 6-way electric adjust with lumbar support. Meanwhile, the rear seats come with 4-way manual adjust. Another highlight of the interior of the MG6 is its flat-bottom steering wheel, which is a nod to the brand's rich racing heritage packed with multi-functional controls to make it more convenient for the driver. For added comfort and convenience, the MG6 comes with technology features such as a dual-zone climate control, cruise control, active speed limiter, pressure monitoring system, electric folding side mirrors, and 12-volt sockets, among others. When it comes to the infotainment system, the MG6 is equipped with an 8-inch touchscreen system with AM-FM radio, two USB ports, Bluetooth connectivity, and phone integration features. Meanwhile, great audio is enjoyable via six speakers. It's time to check the oily bits. Under the hood of the MG6 is a 1.5-liter turbocharged engine that is capable of producing 166 horsepower and 250 newton meters of torque. The engine is coupled with a 7-speed TST with manual tiptronic function. For safety and security, the MG6 comes with a lineup of features that ensure nothing less. It includes anti-lock braking system with electronic brake force distribution electronic stability program, anti-theft system, and ISOFIX, among others. That's it for the MG6 1.5T Trophy Variant, a car that has a lot to offer.
Hi, this is Sydney, and today we will be talking about fuel saving devices. Whether they work, or do they, or do they not? For as long as there have been gasoline engines and fuel that goes into our cars, there will always be people who will try to sell you fuel saving devices. Now, the hallmark of these things are like the pyramid scheme. More power, better efficiency, better mileage. Sometimes they attach a number to it, up to 30%. And if they're really great, up to 50%. Then this is the latest in the long line of them. This is the killer power box. This has been making the rounds of the various car clubs and as with every fuel saving device, the claims are always like this. More power, very satisfied customer feedback, less usok. Okay, let's put it in the test, shall we? As with any claims of better power tests, we always put the car on the dyno because it's very simple. The machine doesn't lie. It cannot lie even if we wanted it to. We've actually seen a number of these things over the years that we've been doing. DOST and DOE actually certify us to do the benchmark testing for anybody who wants to market these things and wants to get a certification from them. So we're gonna put this killer power box, install it on the engine, put it on the dyno and see that if it really does make power, and let's set the bar kind of low. We're happy with 10 horses. <laughs> doesn't need to be 30 horses, doesn't need to be 50. 10 horses will do fine. <laughs> Absolutely no gain. <laughs> Voila. Zero gain. <laughs> Absolutely none. <laughs> we'll do it one more time. Just to make sure and nobody can say anything. Yep, absolutely no gain whatsoever. <laughs> you want to think about it, it's actually a slight power drop of about four horses. You will run into these kinds of devices on your Facebook feed, on your car groups, on your friends who will tell you that there's this latest power saving device. It's very simple. If they promise horsepower in double digit gains, fuel economy savings in also double digit gains, it is not true, don't even bother thinking twice. And then it is too cheap and too good to be true. It's definitely not true. So don't even bother wasting and asking, hey, does this work or not? And all of that. No, it's not. There might even, I've also seen some videos where they have some slick backstory about two college engineering students who were sued by the oil companies because their device saved fuel and all of that and the oil companies want to keep it buried. That's also not true and it's a 100% scam. Fuel saving device? Definitely not. There's only one place this belongs to and it's not your engine. And that's our focus this week. On behalf of my dad, Butch Gamboa, we hope you have found this edition of your Automobile Electronic Magazine informative as well as entertaining. You can also check us out on our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram accounts. Until the next time, this has been Ray Louis Gamboa. <laughs>